What is going on, YouTube? Jimmy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 18 uh, video. Diamond Dynasty regular head-to-head -head game with my regular team. Pretty much what I got. I don't, I don't have too many diamonds. I got one pitcher, uh, one closing pitcher, uh, one, two, three, four, four diamond position players. But anyways, I've kind of noticed that, especially in Battle Royale, um, I kind of suck at hitting, but that's just me. I suck. That, not saying the game or anything. I just suck. So I kind of wanted to know if maybe hitting with a control freak, because I've put it on a couple times, and it is a little bit different. It does feel weird, obviously. You, you've got an extension of your finger. So I wanted to see, or the thumbstick, I want to see how much does that different change in range actually help you in becoming a better hitter. So I'm actually just going to jump into a ranked season game, nine inning game, and see if I play any differently. If I notice that I'm squaring balls up better, if I'm locating the PCI a little bit better, or if I should just just give up and just play Roblox. I should probably do that anyways. All right, so here's what we're playing. We're playing the Vermont Nightmares, uh, Vermont Country Boy 731. Finally got Cole Hamels, so this is Cole Hamels' debut as well. Uh, Gerard Dyson, Lorenzo Cain, Corey Seager, Andrew Benintendi, uh, Andrelton Simmons, Hanley Ramirez, Edwin Encarnacion, Brian McCann, Carlos Martinez on the mound, so he's got a fireball or not. Uh, the best pitcher in the game, but he's got good velo and a couple. I think he's got five pitches. So let's see if we can do anything against uh, Vermont Nightmares. All right, so my opponent, I think he quit. So awesome. All right, second attempt at it. We got the Detroit Bro Bombers. Uh, uh, Wayne Austin. He's got Elvis Andrews, Jason Hayward, Cyrus Cars, Ryan Zimmerman, Justin Upton, Robinson Cano, Eddie Rosario, Alex Avila, Jose Reyes, and Dennis Eckersley on the mound. Uh, versus Ron Guidry. So let's get this dub. Let's see if uh, Control Freak, the Control Freak God, send us an easy dub. And allow us to square up all the pitches in the zone. That's all I want. I'm not asking for much. All right, so he's already thrown us a curveball by playing Fenway Daytime. Uh-oh. First at bat. We dribbled out the, uh, the third baseline. So a good start. All right, there we go. Look at that full range of motion. Okay, so, so far... Uh, nothing to show for with, uh, okay, okay, did we tuck that down Pesky's pole? Second at bat, home run. I don't know. I'm not going to say it was the control freak because it looks like my PC is right down the middle. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're making some good contact right now. I don't know. I feel like my PC is... I don't know if it's because I'm early. It's dropping the PCI down. Now that ball is I think that's off the wall. I don't know. You could say it's a control freak. You could just say it's my skill and that I'm a great player. It could be neither. Most likely neither. But something about user control freak feels a little bit different. It does feel a little bit different. But I don't know. But now we got my favorite player, Luis Gonzalez. I didn't even meet. Yo, that's going to bloop. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. Get back. That was my fault. Yeah, I didn't even. I, I was looking down. I didn't even move the PCI up. That was my fault. But anyway, so far, guys, I have always keep asking you guys for updates. How do you feel so far? Oh, I think he just tied the game. Yeah, that's gone. Yo, second baseman, go after that, dude. I can center field his ball, but go after it. Make me make believe make me believe you want to be out there. Alright, so as quickly as we got the lead, we lost it off one swing from Elvis Andrews, so. Good start. We're not even out of the inning. He absolutely crushed one down the line, and he just popped one to left field for a home run. Granted, both of them were Fenway home runs. <laughs> and y'all talk about Yankee Stadium. Those balls each went like 340 feet. <laughs> and we're going to get out of the inning, only giving up a run. Let's jump back on the sticks and get this lead back through one inning, tied at one in Fenway. All right, here we go. Back to the top of the lineup in the third inning. It's like a good fastball, 96. Sometimes you forget what that goofy, goofy freaking delivery Eckersley's got. And he's got some velo. Thank God that went backwards and not forward because that was a pitch just... 70, you know, from 96 to 77. 20 mile an hour difference. It's kind of difficult to hit sometimes. 
Uh, all right, Jim Emmons again. Maybe Jim Emmons is the only hitter on my team. And swinging at sinkers under the zone is you're, you're just never going to get anywhere. So it's all about pitch selection in this game. Where it? It's got to be here. Yeah, he just doesn't throw strikes, dude. How do you not find the hole on that? All right, so that's it for Dennis Eckersley in the third inning. He's bringing in Justin Bohr to pinch hit. So he brought in a lefty to pinch hit. And on one pitch, he's done. So I, yo, Miguel, are you that lazy that you couldn't run over to the bag? Miguel Cabrera, are you that lazy that you couldn't even give him a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Or you just wanted to work on PFPs. That could have been it. But anyways, back to the top of the lineup. The only reason this game is still tied. Please get rid of it. I get so scared when balls are put in play in the infield. I get so nervous. Two outs, I think, on two pitches for Jason Hayward. I think I'd be cool with a three-pitch inning. I'm cool with a three-pitch inning. Four or three innings of solid work. Only one run allowed so far by Ron Guidry. No, so far so good. <sighs> this is just ridiculous. He's getting me to get make very weak contact. Thank you. Please get to the wall. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, finally. Thank you for Jim Edmonds. Thank you, Jim Edmonds. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I don't know why. It's a one-run ball game. It's a tie. It was a tie freaking ball game. Why? Gonyo! Hey, solid performance so far from Justin Bohr on the mound. Uh, two innings pitched. Only gave up two runs. Honestly, very good performance, Justin Bohr. Way to come out of the pen. Uh, and do your best, you know, good job. I, I gotta give you that much. But hey, we got a lead versus my opponent, Wayne Austin, who apparently uh, just doesn't believe in a bullpen. Took out his starting pitcher after three innings. And then left Justin Bohr on the mound. Miguel Cabrera, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't expect that from you. And you went over and stepped on the bag yourself, didn't even flip it. Miguel Cabrera, hats off to you, my guy. Appreciate that. Good play, nice play. Now Jose Reyes before we got the pitcher spot, hopefully leading off next inning. If we can get through, uh, Jose Reyes, La Melasa. Have I ever told you guys about the time I've met Jose Reyes? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a dead meme, I know. It's not a dead meme because I have to hear it all the time. Because I talk about it all the time. Does that make sense? That was fair. And I did not know that was fair. And I, I bet you there's a position player on the mound. To no surprise, there is a position player on the mound. This time, it's Billy Hamilton getting out. I for, sometimes I just forget. Billy Hamilton is an extremely talented pitcher. Like against the... Uh, oh my fudge, dude. Like, oh my fudge. Here we go. I'm just putting my PCI right there. Right there. I didn't put that pitch there. But I'm going to keep my PCI there. I'm just going to keep it down there. And now he's avoiding pitching down. Because if I get on top of another pitch with a position player on the mound, I'm not going to be very happy. This is why he's throwing changeups up. Just missed that one. And I don't understand why this guy refuses to bring a relief pitcher after position player hit or pit hits for the pitcher. I don't. I really do not get it. Alrighty. Well, this game was fun and interesting. Hope you guys did enjoy it. But that's that's pretty much it. Ah, oh, shoot. Control free came up mid swing. Where was Haley going? Well, right, this was kind of a blown experiment. Shout out to my opponent for getting every single pitcher ejected until the game got uh, mercy ruled and he was down to his last reliever. Um, but yeah, actually, um, I do feel like there is a little bit of 
Um, uh, there is a little bit of added assistance when you use control freaks. I mean, I, I would recommend that you guys pick them up. I don't. I I, I only had these because my boy Static has some control freaks laying around. He uses them and he says he would not play without them, especially first person shooters. But he does use them in MLB The Show too. I think uh, I think it's definitely worth it. It does help out a little. You're not going to go from a garbage hitter to an amazing hitter. I just suck. I know that. But um. Uh, but it does help out a little bit, actually. But if you guys enjoy this video, as always, make sure you smash the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. We still, we're still undefeated. 8-0 uh, in ranked season, although we're only on All-Star, but we're slowly climbing up. Peace. Whose world is this? The world is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Whose world is this? The world is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. I sip the dumb peak watching Gandhi 